Hello everyone. Today on this video we will discuss about the mortality rate. So mortality rate is an important topic in epidemiology. So earlier we discussed about the basic tool of uh, measurement that is the tool rate ratio in the proportion here we discuss about the commonly used uh, mortality rate so how the uh, how we you calculate the mortality rate so that we will discuss so mortality rate is uh, is means that is a death rate okay so it is an indicator of a country so if the mortality rate will be increases that will be uh, that the economic level of the uh, con con country will be decreases so the researcher or you say the epidemiologist they measure uh, or they calculate this mortality rate so these are the few uh, commonly use uh, use form uh, use the mortality how to calculate the mortality rate the commonly use that are the crude death rate second is the specific death rate then case fatality rate and the proportionally proportional mortality rate and the survival rate so first one is the first we we'll discuss the crude death rate so crude death means that is a raw picture or you say the uh, general overall or the general so here we have how you calculate the total number of death in an year by the median population of an year into 1000 so a total number of death of an year so uh, it's a whole uh, or uh, the total number of death okay and is the median population here the in the denominator that is the mid year population so the mid year population that we know that is the uh, what that is the july first july that is the mid year population and that uh, and it's, uh, it's multiplied with 1000 so suppose the total number of death in an area, area is, uh, in a year is 300 okay and the median population is about uh, suppose uh, in that area is 10,000 because uh, why you are taking as the media because population is continuously changing okay that's why you are taking as the media population that's the first July so in media population suppose that time population is 10,000 so in the numerator that is 300 smaller quantity but in denominator that is a bigger quantity that is a 10,000 so when you are going to divide from the smaller number to a bigger number then the result will be what fractional number to avoid this fractional number we multiply 1000 okay so the formula like the like the this type cdr or the crude death rate is equal to is equal to d by p that is the death of the total death of that area um, of that year by the median populations into k k is the constant value here is the 1000 so this is the formula of c d r that the crude death rate so yeah, this is the simplest way of measuring mortality rate it's a very simple and uh, and one of the drawback is or say one of the limitation is that it's from this uh, mortality crude death rate we cannot uh, find out the figure we cannot get the clear picture of why the by which disease people are die or which age group uh, of the people of the population they will they had uh, they were die or uh, the children of which age groups are die uh, due to due to the malnutrition or suppose uh, the how many of them they are uh, die with tuberculosis or measles so the clear picture you cannot the clear concept is not we uh, we, can, we cannot get uh, if we are comparing between the two communities that is the one of the limitation of this crude death rate so to resolve this another uh, another mortality rate is there that is a specific death rate specific the name is indicating that it is the specific means if we are going to calculate the death due to this specific uh, disease okay so suppose uh, the the how you calculate the formula the total number of death due to the specific cause here i have taken as an example of tuberculosis so is the, the total death due to the specific cause that is the tuberculosis and the median population of that area similarly as the crude death that is the median population the first July you are taking again we are multiplying with the same 1000 to avoid this fractional number okay so here uh, the specific di specific disease is tuberculosis Suppose you are going to find about the death of the uh, death of the uh, children of under 5, 0 to 5 years. Or we are going to find out the death of the uh, mother who are reporting age group. 
ओके तो ये द स्पेसिफिक वी गेट ए स्पेसिफिक डाटा और यू गेट ए क्लियर पिक्चर ऑफ ए पर्टिकुलर डिजीज और यू से दस ट्यूबोक्लोसिस यू आर गेटिंग द पर्टिकुलर डाटा फिगर दट एवर यू गेट दट फिगर दैट विल बी जस्टिफाइड दैट दिस नंबर ऑफ पीपल दैट विल डाइट विथ ट्यूबोक्लोसिस ओके सो दिस विल गिव ए क्लियर कंसेप्ट सो इट इज यूजफुल और हेल्पफुल बिकॉज इट विल बी फाइंड आउट द एटियोलॉजी हियर वी कैन फाइंड आउट द एटियोलॉजी द कॉज और द कंसेप्ट or the age group that is clear by this by this get by this uh, by the getting this result but one of the limitation is that sometimes what happens data will not often available okay so some of the areas or you in developing countries the data uh, are not available so that is the one of the limitation of this specific death rate okay next to uh, third one that is the case fatality rate so the case and fatality so case means those who are known or died or known case of disease okay those who are patient that is called case so the case and fatality and fatal means life threatening case who are going to death okay so the case and fatality so here uh, so how you calculate the total number of death due to a particular disease so you are taking as a particular disease suppose cholera cholera so you are taking the total number of death due to a particular disease that is cholera and the total number of cases means the uh, in a area or in a populations who are die already they passed away and who are still in the disease conditions that are called the cases due to the same disease okay and again you are multiplying with 100 here so that is the formula is like that cfr that is a case fatality rate is equal to death by the cases so in the numerator that is the death and in denominator that is the case into 100 so that is the formula of cfr so it is useful in case suppose we are finding we are going to find out how virulence of the disease or the killing power of the uh, killing power of the disease because in an area you know uh, cholera will, when the cholera outbreak is going on the number of people are affected with the cholera but few of the cases they will die so the the uh, severity or you say the how the killing power of the uh, 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 killing power of the disease that will be calculated by this case fatality rate but one of the limitation is that the time interval is not specified because time factor is not there so that is one of the limitation of this case fatality rate second second the, the fourth one is the proportional mortality rate so the proportional mortality here we are going to calculate about the percentage okay so in percentage so how you calculate the number of death from a specific disease in a year so you are going to find out a specific disease okay so the specific disease now nowadays is like cardiac uh, heart diseases and uh, also the hiv cases so these are considered the specific disease okay so number of death from a specific disease in a year by the total number of death of all cases of that year means you have the uh, you have the uh, we have the figure of the total death but you are going to find out out of them out of this uh, uh, figure how many of them die with the specific disease okay because you already known the total death you have the uh, data of total death but you are getting to find such searching about the how many of them die with specific disease such as cardiovascular diseases or um, cardiac heart diseases or hiv cases so how many of them they will die and the formula is total number of death for specific disease by the total death of all the cases into 100 means suppose this is the total population suppose you are taking as a picture this is the total population okay and in this population suppose these are this uh, black area suppose this black area is the total death means total death of the area but you are finding about this person dotted how many of them die with specific disease or uh, hiv or in uh, cardiac heart diseases how many of them they will die with this specific disease so you are going to calculate about a percentage okay and it is very much useful because uh, nowadays some of the specific diseases like tuber sorry like uh, cardiac heart diseases and uh, hiv so these are the diseases are become burden to us 
our population and become they are very much uh, giving pressure to our population or in community so that's why it's a uh, it's uses is a broad diseases and the disease burden in the community so we have to find out the how much our people are uh, risk of getting that type of disease so that is the proportional mortality rate that is ex that is oh, that we are getting about the percentage and the last one that is the survival rate survive means that is alive okay so in survival uh, rate how you calculate see the total number of patient alive survival matlab alive after 5 years of observations okay so they are alive now he was alive because they have under treatment they are get continuously uh, taking doctors uh, advices or they are or are taking uh, they are under the surveillance of the doctor uh, or they are follow up the doctor advices that way they are alive in the after 5 years of diagnosis by the total number of patient diagnosed so in denominator that is uh, that uh, that showing this uh, this data is showing that uh, in the in the last 5 years or if suppose this is the year of 2023 so you went back to to 2018 that is the 5 year 18 in 2018 suppose that are total number of patient that is diagnosed with lung cancer that is about 300 people of our area they are find out uh, uh, lung cancer okay after 5 years means 2023 30 of them alive okay because they are under continuously under the uh, doctor advice they are taking good doctor advices or they have taken chemotherapy or some advanced uh, advanced te um, uh, therapy they have taken they are taking and they are continuously taking the advice of the doctor and that is the observation they are under the observations so the total number of patient alive by the total number of patient diagnosed in that time into 100 so that will that that uh, the the figure that will be come out that will give you the survival rate so in survival rate it is useful to find out the accessing the standard of treatment so new uh, the modern technologies are uh, nowadays uh, modern technologies are there modern treatment therapies are uh, now are going on so how much uh, prognosis is there how many how many achievement uh, by this uh, by this uh, treatment we get so we can uh, we can uh, so, uh, survive some of the um, some of the patients so that will give an idea of our or that will give the uh, pic picture clear uh, clear data about the survival rate so it is mainly um, used in the study of cancer so uh, in cancer cases that uh, in that case survival rate is calculated so these are commonly used mortality rate by the epidemiologist or you say by the researcher so by knowing this uh, rate okay so they can take necessary steps or some of the uh, in, in implement some of the health program so that we can but reduce the death rate we cannot uh, life is uh, everyone uh, all the living things will be die that is the truth but we are not uh, we only what we will do only we can reduce the structure okay so because the mortality rate if we reduce this mortality rate ultimately that will the development of our country okay so this is all about uh, the uh, mortality rate that are the commonly used in epidemiology thank you for watching and please keep on subscribing